Hey, what's up, y'all, man? It's your boy. Y'all's chosen one. We're on Exodus chapter 28. Uh, let's get to it. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother and his sons with him and from among the children of Israel, or Yashallah, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. See? Even though Aaron was a priest, he had sons, unlike the Catholic Church, who, who tells their priests to practice celibacy. So now, these Catholic priests are going around raping these little boys and girls because because they can't have sex. And who's telling them they can't have sex? And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother for glory and for beauty. So not only do you make the garments, but you make them from glory and beauty. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, <clears throat> whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, and an ephod, and a robe, and a broader coat, a mitre, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take gold and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen. And they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue and of purple, of scarlet and fine twine linen with cunning work. It shall have the two shoulder pieces thereof joined at the two edges thereof, and so it shall be joined together. And the curious girdle of the ephod which is upon it shall be of the same, according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, and grave of them the names of the children of Yashallah, six of the names of one stone, and the six names of the rest on the other stone, according to their birth. With the work of an engraver in stone, like the engraving of a signet, shalt thou engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Yashara. Thou shalt make them to be set in ounces of gold. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of memorial and the children of Yashara. And Aaron shall bear the names before Yah upon his two shoulders for memorial. And thou shalt make ounces of gold and the two and two chains of pure gold at the ends. Of wreathen work shalt thou make them, and fasten the wreathen chains to the out to the ouches. Two chains. Now you know the rapper two chains is where he get it from. Verse fourteen. <coughs> two chains. Exodus twenty eight, verse fourteen. But he's no priest. And thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work, and the work of the ephod thou shalt make it, of gold, of blue, and purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twine linen, thou shalt make it. Four square it shall be, being double, a span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the breadth thereof. And thou shalt set in this settings of stones, even four rows of stones. The first row shall be a sardius, a topaz, and a, car and a carbuncle. This shall be the first row. And the second row shall be emeralds, sapphires, and a diamond. And the third row, a liger, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a barrel, an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold in their enclosings. And the stones shall be with the names of the children of Yashala, twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet. Everyone with his name shall they be according to the twelve tribes. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate chains at the ends a rhythm work of pure gold. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate two rings of gold, and, a sh and shalt put the rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And thou shalt put the two wreathing chains of gold in the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate, and the other two ends of the two wreathing chains. Thou shalt fasten to the two ounces. And put them on the shoulder piece of the ephod before it. And thou shalt make two rings of gold. And thou shalt put them upon the two ends of the breastplate and the border thereof. 
which is in the side of the ephod inward. And the other rings of gold thou shalt make, and shalt put them on the two sides of the ephod, underneath towards the forepart thereof, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. And they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof, and unto the rings of the ephod with the lace of blue, that it may be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate be not loose from the ephod. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Yashara'la, and the breastplate of judgment upon his heart, when he goeth into the holy place for a memorial before Yah continually. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before Yah. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Yahshua upon the heart before Yah continually. And thou shalt make the robe of the ephod all of blue, and there shall be a hole in the top of it, in the midst thereof it shall have a binding of woven work round about the whole of it, as if it were the whole of a habergon that is not to be sent, not be rent. And beneath upon the hem of it shall thou make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister, and his his sound shall be heard when he go up in unto the holy place before Yah, and when he cometh out, that he die not. And thou shalt make a plate of pure gold, engrave upon it like the engravings of a signet, holiness to Yah. And thou shalt put it on a blue lace, and that it may be upon the mitre. Upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be, and it shall be upon Aaron's forehead, that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Israel shall hollow in all their holy gifts. And it shall be always upon his forehead, that they may be accepted before Yah. And thou shalt embroider the coat of fine linen, and thou shalt make the mitre of fine linen, and thou shalt make the girdle of needlework. And for Aaron's sons thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make for them girdles, and bonnets shalt thou make for them, for glory and for beauty. So these garments are for glory and beauty, once again he's emphasizing. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron's thy brother, and his son with him, and shalt anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness, from the loins even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come in unto the tabernacle of the congregation, or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place, that they bear not iniquity and die. It shall be a statute forever unto him and his seed after him. So there you go. So that's something that when we gain the kingdom back we'll still be doing you know what I'm saying that's something he said forever right so you know whoever our priests will be that's something that you know that they'll continue to do he said forever forever is a long time all right this is your boy Yah's chosen one get back there with that you on the next one Shalom